Hi, my name is Willie, and in this video, we're going to talk about some new additions to the shop. This tractor has a brother, and this is not the nicer one of the two. So let's get started. This is not the original orange on here. This has been repainted. That's not the factory stripe, nor is this the factory seat. Funny thing about the seat is the seat dates back to the 70s. So it's probably, we can assume that's when this has all been redone. It's all in nice shape considering it's been redone in the 70s probably. And from what I was told, this thing was in the back of a van in a property. And the old lady that bought the property bought the tractors with the property. So these things have probably been sitting in the back of a van since the 70s. And uh, these runner boards aren't original. That's not original. And... Uh, they didn't want to wire up the star generator, so they actually put an alternator on there. It's possible they might have done that so they could put jumper cables on it. But the, the rear fenders are in nice shape. There's very minimal bending here, which can be straightened out. Usually they're all mangled. So that's nice to see a nice set of fenders, even though they're the wrong color. All the chrome is in beautiful shape on this thing. All that chrome will clean up. It's a little bit tarnished up here, and there's even some original paint on the inside of the steering wheel. No serious rusting in here. The grill frame unfortunately had some holes drilled in it and the, the bottom was painted on it. And the lift lever has beautiful chrome as well. And the nice thing about this tractor is the beauty under the hood. I do not believe this engine was repainted. Uh, reason I say that is because the paint is still sticking to the aluminum and there's even some original paint still on the block the air filter looks great looks like the original paint on the carburetor yet so this thing does not have a lot of hours on it it's really nice shape and this engine is gonna come out and go into the B1 and the tank is pretty clean on here. I mean, there's no rust, but it's got some varnish in there from the old fuel. But no rust. So that'll clean up pretty nice. There's even some original wiring still under there. And it's got some chains on it. These wheels are also going to come off and go onto the B1. Uh, because I don't really want them because they were painted gray. That's another thing you don't see very often is original wheels. Or tires. You don't see the original tires very often. The screen's not all bent up on it. And this is not the nice... As I said earlier, this isn't even the nicer tractor of the two. Uh, the hitch was taken off of it. Or the sleeve hitch. Not a big deal. And it's got some axle oil leaks, which is normal. Let's take a look at the other one. This one's in really nice original condition. As you can see, we have some nice original paint on the wheels, original tires, frame is in nice shape. It's had some front attachments on it before, so the paint's a little bit scratched up, and there's some minor rust on it, but for original, it's really nice. Even the underneath is pretty clean, no signs of any oil leaks. Wheels are pretty nice, the hood's pretty nice. It's got the front two bolts, and I have one bolt for the back. I have an extra bolt I have to put in for the other side, so I had three of the four bolts for it. It's got another nice original 23D. This one's got some runtime on it, though. You can see the sticker is a little bit dirty. There's some oil grime on it. It's got some use on it. Top of the engine's a little bit rusty, and that's normal. Looks like there's a little bit left of a decal here or some, of some sort. Not sure. Gas tank is pretty clean. Each got the original gas cap in it yet this has some gas in it the original the owner that had this before me tried getting it running and it did run but he had limited results uh, I imagine the battery will probably come up and uh, it looks like original wiring in here yeah that's pretty much original wiring I don't know what this plastic piece is for it's original but I don't know how it was originally routed if anyone has any information on that that'd be great and the dashboard is in beautiful shape on here. The only th thing that was drilled on this was for a light switch up here. 
but the chrome once again can be cleaned up it's got the switch in both these tractors have the original switches steering's nice gas tank label is still re legible the steel's got some rust on it here but it's there it's not too bad i think that'll clean up pretty nice this was added after the fact i don't know what it's for so but once again some nice chrome there i have the original carburetor and the air filter for it in the garage the Nelson muffler is in perfect condition. There's really no rust rust issues on it at all. It's really solid. I'm hoping I can get that out without destroying it. That'll be a bit of a fight because it looks like they just stuck it in there tight. I don't know if that was a replacement muffler or not, but this original paint is really nice. It's got the original tires. I mean, it's very rare you ever see things with original paint like this in this kind of condition. It's really nice. The hole underneath it's even clean. The other wheel's pretty good. The fenders are a little bit banged up. That's normal. But look at that. The original seat is still mostly there. It's still connected in the front and the back. It even had a seat cover on it. The seat cover's inside. But yeah, this thing's pretty nice. I hate to say it, but the engine's coming out of this one as well, and that's going to get a 16 horse put in it. I'm going to see if I can't get the exhaust out of it and keep the exhaust on the 16 horse. Keep it as original as possible. So yeah, that's a bit of an update for you. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And as always, have a good day. Bye.